Hello there, I'm Tim Kaufman. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so grateful that you're watching this video. Uh, on this channel, we talk about health and wellness. We talk about recovery, mindset, life transformations with a focus on whole food, plant-based living. So if you like any of those things and you enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be notified anytime we put out new content. It helps you get the reminder and it helps us go up in the ranks of YouTube so more people see our stuff and hopefully we can help more people. So today is one of those weird videos where I don't really know what to do with this. I was shooting some content for a video course and um, I really didn't know where to fit this idea and it really comes from the heels of an email that I got yesterday. Um, this person that emailed me said that she was drowning in all this information and all these ideas from friends and family um, and there's just so much out there and basically she was overwhelmed with everything that she should start doing and what she wanted to know is what is the first thing that I should be doing to change my life. She just wanted one thing. And I actually love that. I respect that because everyone wants this step-by-step -step thing that if they just do this, then everything's going to be all right and they're going to come out the other side, a successful transformation. And that's really not how it works. Well, I thought about this uh, while I was out on a bike ride. And it just occurred to me, this story, it sounded like a as I'm preparing an answer, um, I, I couldn't help but think back to when I was a kid working on a farm. So the farmer I used to work for, um, his father would stop by a lot and he'd tell these crazy stories and um, some of them were super fun. <clears throat> well, I don't know if they were all true. I remember uh, back when I was probably 16 years old, he told me this story and... I suppose the story really meant nothing to me until years later. And then I kind of understood the point of it. But the story goes like this. Um, this old farmer went to another farmer's house to visit him. I don't know really why he was visiting, but he was standing on the front porch. And uh, the owner of the other farm was sitting in a rocking chair, just kind of enjoying the day, sipping a cup of iced tea outside. And um, as the conversation went on, the farmer had a basset hound that was laying on the porch. And every once in a while, um, it was sleeping, by the way, and every once in a while it opened up its eyes and it let out a big yelp and then it closed its eyes and go back to sleep. And after about the third time this happened, the farmer said, what's the matter with your dog? And he goes, oh, he's laying on a nail. And... The farmer says, well, why doesn't he get up and move? And the other farmer is like, I don't know. He does it every day. And it was kind of a silly story. Um, but really, what my boss's father never told me is that's a pretty complicated life lesson. Uh, you know, we tend to go through life having these problems. Some of them we create on our own accord. And um, we complain. And then we get comfortable again. Until we're not comfortable, then we wake up and we complain. And all this dog had to do was get up and move away from the nail. And sometimes, it sounds so silly, but sometimes it's a very, very hard thing to do once we get into habits. Um, so I want to talk about this just a little bit. These two things actually have a lot more to do with each other than you'd think. Um, so I want to I wanna talk about this. Um, people see my transformation, which is pretty crazy. It's a pretty cra crazy transformation. If you didn't know, um, this is a picture of me, well over 400 pounds, hardly able to move. Actually, looking at that chair was a big deal for me to get up out of the chair. And here, years later, you see me running uh, at Leadville, um, in Leadville, Colorado, in, 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 a, in a, pretty, a pretty intense um, trail race. So here's the thing. Many people look at that and they just think that that transformation happened. Um, and a lot of times I feel like an imposter, like I shouldn't be teaching this stuff. But this is one thing I have a ton of experience with. And that experience is this. 
What you see right here is a whole bunch of failures. Yeah, a whole bunch of failures. And that's something I'm really good at. And that's really what I want to talk about. So these failures, I did so many things wrong. But the point is, I did something. And we're going to talk about this in two more slides. We're going to talk about why this is so important. So when you look at this, you look at a success story, what I see, because I lived it, I see failure after failure after failure after failure. But eventually, eventually, I got enough right out of all the wrongs that things clicked for me. And I can tell you this, right now, 10 years later, I still fail. I fail way more than I succeed. But the thing for me is I never stop trying. But that's not the point of this. Um, you know, so this is activity. Uh, for me, getting up out of the chair and walking to the end of my driveway, that was a big deal. But those things that I did led me to the mountains in Leadville, Colorado. So the point is here that I didn't, at, at sitting in that chair, I didn't make up my mind to run marathons or run ultra races. Sitting in that chair, I decided to do something. And that something at the time was literally walking to the end of the driveway and trying to keep my balance. So, and that's the idea, that's the idea. People see these crazy transformations and they're not seeing the whole thing. The other thing I want to talk about is food. Um, so food, I'm just going to give you a disclaimer here. This is not the scope of this video, but I am very biased to a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. And if you're interested in that, look at some of my videos. But what I want to do is talk about life transformation or something, how to change anything in your life, whether it's college, education, um, you know, better work ethics, uh, entrepreneurs, business people, relationships, all these things have one common thread that holds them together. Here you see uh, both myself and my wife uh, losing almost 300 pounds together. And again, all I see is a whole bunch of failures. In fact, I failed so badly um, that I remember juicing kale, running kale through my juicer with chewing tobacco in my mouth. Um, that's how that's how I messed things up so bad. Like I was still chewing tobacco while I was trying to get healthy. Um, and again, what you see is this lovely transformation. What I see is mistake after mistake after mistake. And that's actually a good thing because many times we make a mistake. And what do we do? We want to quit right away. So make mistakes, but this is the whole point of this little video. I'm trying to keep this super short. Regardless of what you're doing, it doesn't matter what, like I said before, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do. Uh, if you want to change your life, there's one thing that you must do. And it's the first thing. It sounds so crazy dumb, but I'm telling you, this is the key. You have to do something. You have to do something. It sounds so simple. It sounds oversimplified, but that's the point. Sometimes we complicate things so much. We got to have everything planned out. We got to have everything bought. We got to know exactly what we're doing at one time. And we screw it up and then we stop. The key to this is today. Ask yourself today. What am I changing so I'm better tomorrow? It is such a valuable thing for me. Um, you know, going through my transformation, yeah, I, I couldn't lose 20 pounds. I couldn't lose 20 pounds, much less one pound. But what I could do is take an apple to work with me. I could do something. And a lot of times we get overwhelmed. And this young lady that emailed me a couple days ago or yesterday, um, she, she was right. There's so much out there. Where do you begin? What do you do? The answer is do something. Because doing something wrong will still get you off the course that you're on now. That's the problem. We're in these ruts all the time. And we don't ever want to leave the rut. But if we do something, even if we're turning the wrong way, at least we're turning off from where we are now. I ask myself all the time, what am I doing today 
to make myself better tomorrow? I think that's a very valuable question. I think it's valuable for people that are trying to, you know, get on the other side of recovery. I think it's uh, good for people that are involved in sports, finances, relationships, weight loss, you name it, you name it. If you want to change where you are today, you have to do something and don't be afraid to screw it up because screwing up is better than doing nothing because at least you're moving off the course that you're on. I hope that helped you. If you think it would help one of your friends or someone else, by all means, please give it a share somewhere, wherever you have social media. Um, and stay tuned for the next videos. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate you. I wish you the best on your journey. And do something today. Do something today. Bye-bye.